I now would like to introduce to you our Horizon and Summit Integrated Ozone Contact Systems. With this system, all we need are three things. Number one, compressed air inlet here. Number two, electrical power. And the third, of course, is our water supply. Everything is done within this system. At the end, we get perfectly regulated ozonated water. I now would like to introduce to you the major components of the integrated ozone system contact system. First of all, we have the ozone generator. Then, of course, we have the ozone contact tank. And thirdly, we have the control system. Let's take a closer look at the ozone control system. The ozone control system consists of three major components. The first component is the dissolved ozone analyzer. The dissolved ozone analyzer measures ozone concentration with this dissolved ozone sensor. The ozone concentration of the water is measured at this point where the water leaves the ozone contact skid for the process. The second item is the ambient ozone monitor. This device is coupled with this sensor here to measure ambient ozone, which may be present because of a leak or because ozone is present in the process. The third component is the process controller. This ozone system is designed so that we can control it either manually or full automatic process control. Full automatic process control is very simple in that we pick our set point, for example, 0.2 parts per million, put that set point into the monitor, and then the system will automatically control the output of ozone gas so that we get a precise ozone concentration regardless of variation of flow rates in the process. We've now rotated the skid around. That will give me an opportunity to demonstrate the three systems required to take the ozone gas and dissolve it into liquid. Let's talk about the tank venting system. This tank is pressurized, and at the same time, we're introducing gas into the tank. Now, not all of the gas is going to dissolve. Ozone is far more soluble than oxygen, so we're going to get a, a lot of oxygen gas that is going to rise to the top of the tank and will have to be evacuated. The way we do that is a system called a vent valve. The vent valve allows the tank to be pressurized, but at the same time allows gas to escape. That gas is then directed to this system here. Because the tank is pressurized and because a little bit of water vapor will exit the tank when we vent the gas, we have to separate that water so that we do not allow the water to enter our ozone destruct device here. We do that with this system. We call this an expansion chamber. What it does is it separates the water by slowing down the gas velocity so that the water can separate, travel through this drain valve, and then exit out the bottom, while the gas is then directed up into the ozone destruct. The ozone destruct then converts any undissolved ozone into oxygen, and out the base here we have pure oxygen. This destruct is so effective we can simply vent the gas into the room. This concludes the introduction to our Horizon and Summit Series integrated ozone contact system and the various systems that make up the overall integrated ozone contact system.